Good morning, my name is Rob Harbour, I'm an Australian that's living in the Philippines. I have a Masters of Education and a Masters of Teaching, and I have over 10 years of teaching experience in a variety of settings, ranging from secondary level to vocational training, as well as university level. As a teacher, I believe that we need to do more to interact with our students. I have a student here at the moment. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, hello, my name is B. I'm uh, from Korea. Okay, we have B from Korea here. Now, B, have you ever been to Australia at all? Yes, I've been there before, two years ago. Okay. How did you find the accent and also the culture when you were in Australia? Um, uh, when, when, I, when I meet um, Australian, they usually say no words like that. So when I see the Australian, uh, the word, uh, I exactly know who is Australian. Like that. That's correct. We have a lot of characteristic speeches that we have as an Australian. So a lot of the times you will hear us say no worries, which means that there's no problem yeah, in anything that you do. Right. When we normally see someone for the first time, we don't rely on formalities. So a lot of the times you'll hear someone say g'day. Yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good day, mate. Right? Yes. It's, which means how are you, right? Yes, perfect. Um, and everyone's called mate. So in Australia, what we mean by mate is everyone is a friend. Oh. Whether you know them or not, everyone will be a mate. And one of the things that made Australia so great is the value of mateship, which means as an Australian, everyone's treated as equal. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest person or the poorest person, you're always going to be equal and on a level playing field, regardless of your education, regardless of your background, and regardless of where you come from. Yeah. The other thing that I love about Australia is, for those that have been there, they will notice it's very multicultural. There is no single person that you could say is Australian by just looking at them. Once they start speaking, you can say, okay, that's an Australian and that isn't an Australian. But we don't really look at Australians as a race. Uh -huh. We tend to look at Australia, it's more of a culture. And it's more of a group of people that are just trying to have a better life for themselves. As a teacher, I don't want to focus just solely on Australian culture. I want to help you learn better. I want to help you grow as a student to achieve your goals. I can help you with IELTS. I can help you with TESOL. I can help you with your grammar and your pronunciation. But at the same time, I need to have feedback from you that if you don't understand what I'm saying to you, it needs to be clarified on the spot so I can change the way I teach you to best suit you. Yeah. That means if I'm speaking too fast and you don't understand what I've said, don't be afraid <laughs> to stop me. Okay. I want you, as I said, to walk out of this classroom going, I've learnt this, I've learnt this, and I've learnt this. Because without you walking out knowing that you've learnt something and achieved something, our experience together yes. is worthless as far as I'm concerned. So I'm now going to play some games with you, yes. which is how do we say Melbourne? Uh, how do we say, um, uh, say Melbourne? Melbourne. Yes, can you say Melbourne? Melbourne. Perfect. How do we say Sydney? Sydney. No? <laughs> Sydney. Sydney. Perfect. How do we say Brisbane? Brisbane. Perfect. What, okay, and the last bit is, to you, what is the best bit of Australia? Best what? I'm sorry. The, the best bit of Australia. Bit. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. when we say the best bit, yeah. here in the Philippines, to me the best bit is the food and the culture. I can go out and get fresh food. Yeah. Um, the people are always smiling. The people are always friendly. Yeah. To you, after you've been to Australia, yeah. what bit did you take away and go, that's the most memor memorable bit uh -huh. that I can think of? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, usually, before 8 o'clock, everyone just go back home. So, very quiet from 8 p.m. Yes. Yeah, I just think about it. Yep, so to me the best bits of Australia is we have the kangaroos that everyone wants to see. Ah, okay. <laughs> we have a very different culture where we have karaoke, but we don't take our karaoke seriously. So normally it is 
filled with drunken Australians dancing and singing okay. very, very badly. Um, the other good bit of Australian culture is the food. The food is a melting pot of all different cultures. So when you go to Australia, you're not going to have food that is typically Australian because we don't have any. So we have borrowed from Chinese culture, American culture, British culture, Spanish culture. Yeah. And so wherever you go, you're always going to experience something different. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great country and I believe that everyone should have a chance to go there at one point or another to either work or even just to study. If you could think of one place in Australia that you could recommend to anyone that wanted to visit there, where would you say to go? Um, Great Barrier Reef. Okay, and why would you want to go to the Great Barrier Reef? What can I see there? Um, it's, a, it's a really good, beautiful place. Um, um, I don't know if you can do that. It's beautiful. It's, we have the coral reef, we have fish, we have white sandy beaches, but most of all we have the sunshine while you're there. Yeah. And you get to enjoy the pace of life, which in Australia is very relaxed. Yes. It's once we've finished work, it is time to party pretty much. We don't want to do anything else except spend time with our friends and our family. Yeah. And enjoy each other's company and just enjoy what we're doing. Okay, thank you.